what makes the Bible uh, different from other books? Parang parang misa may tanong di ba na what 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 is the what makes Christian education different from other education? So what makes the Bible different, or the nature of the Bible, and what makes it different from other books? First, the Bible is a revelation from God. That is the claim of the Scripture itself. The the uh, the inner testimony of the people who wrote the Bible. Uh, it was written for for us, it, a secondary recipient or extended recipient, but. Primarily, the Bible is a revelation from God. The Bible reveals who God is. Uh, because how do, how do we know that there is God? Hindi kaya imagination lang natin si God. That is the challenge of the communist, di ba? Karl, si Karl Marx. Uh, according to him, because Christianity believes that God created us. And Karl Marx says, no, you created God. Your God is, your cre is the creation of your mind. So at least the Bible tells us that there is God. Uh, at least this Bible is uh, helping the general revelation. Within, within us, there is a seed of God. And every human being, and everywhere, there is an expression of worship of the divine being. The Bible at least makes it clear that at least the Bible tells us who is that God. That general revelation is telling us. May God, that's the universal manifestation. Within the human, the ontological perspective that Aquinas insists that everything that exists in the mind, it exists in reality. So in order to prove the existence of God, he wrote the the uh, proslogion, the proofs on the existence of God, Thomas Aquinas. But on the other hand, we, we should know also what makes the Bible different. It is the revelation. It is a revelation from God. It is, this is where God revealed part of himself, not the totality of God. Let's make it clear. How do we know how many parts, at least how many percent of God do we really know? Yung otherness na lang, ano, yung part of himself. Uh, not the totality of God. But in the Bible, God revealed himself. So the Bible is a revelation from God. His will, his purpose to humanity, to his creation, and his plans. Okay? And then secondly, the Bible is the inspired word of God written in, by the inspired writers. So, inspired yung author. But they are not mechanically inspired. Hindi, hindi din dictation na nagdi-dictate si God sa heaven at sinusulat. At least the Bible tells us na revelation yung Bible and then uh, part of himself it is what inspired, written by the inspired authors. Uh, pero hindi sila mechanically inspired, hindi sila in the dictation, it is what we call organically inspired. God, it means, meron dyan explanation ng organic, organic inspiration. Let's go to the organic inspiration. What, uh, pakibasa nga ng isang lalaki naman. Please, ikaw. What is your name? Emmanuel. Not nickname naman. Eman. Okay, Eman, please read. Okay, this is uh, coming from, this is from Louis Berkhoff, a German theologian on the systematic theology who formulated the idea of the organic inspiration of the Bible, that God acted on them in an organic way, in harmony with the laws of their being. 
He used them just as they were, with their character, temperaments, their gifts and talents, their education and cultural backgrounds, their vocabularies, diction and styles. So that is the organic inspiration. God used them as they are. You will notice that Matthean, the, Ma the Gospel to the Matthew, for example, because the background of Matthew is, he is known as a tax collector, converted to be one of his, his apostles. And when Matthew wrote his Gospel, he used languages coming from his educational background. So you will notice the terminologies like revenues, tax, interest. Payments coming from the Gospel of Matthew. But the Gospel of Luke, since Luke is a doctor, he is not one of the twelve, but he is allowed by he was allowed by God to, to at least use one of the gospels, to write one of the gospels. You will notice also the the, the focus and the vocabularies of Luke. Sickness, illness, the healing, the in. Coming from the background of a doctor. So God allowed them to act according to their background, their dictions. Uh, example, Paul, the writings of Paul, the 13 writings of Paul, the book of Romans, Corinthians, up to Thessalonians. You will notice also the terminologies of Paul coming from what? A lawyer. Because he is known as a lawyer. He is known as a philosopher. So he serves as one of the writers of the New Testament. But you will see the, the principle of the organic inspiration of the Bible when God used them as, just as they were. Their backgrounds, their cultures, their temperaments. Kaya makikita mo kahit kay Peter, kay Paul, maiinit yung writings nila, maiinitin din ang ulo. Ano? Di ba? Imagine in the book of uh, uh, Galatians, sabi ni, sabi ni Paul sa chapter 1, eh, You are foolish, Galatians! How come you accept another gospel other than what I have preached to you? Galit na galit siya. Halos murahin niya talaga. You are foolish. Sabi ni Jesus, huwag kang gagamit ng word na foolish. Di ba? Tapos pagdating sa chapter 5, sabi niya, ang bunga ng banal na espiritu ay kababa ang loob, pagpipigil sa sarili, kapayapaan. <laughs> Kagalakan. Anong nangyari? <laughs> Anong nangyari doon? Lumamig-lamig na yung ulo <laughs> Sa chapter 5. Diba? Makikita mo yung ano niya, yung mga temperaments nila, iba-iba. So sila Peter, makikita mo naman sa kanila, kila dyan, yung mga illustration nila, fish, boats, diba? Yung paano nila tinitignan yung isang bagay, paano sila nagsusulat. Uh, ginagamit nila yung mga terminologies na known sa kanila. Hindi ka naman pwedeng subukan mo mag-lecture ang isang architect. Siyempre, mga, mga architectural design ang mga matidinig mo sa kanya, di ba? I bought a book from when I was in Paris, ang title ng book, The Architecture of Happiness by Bolton. I enjoyed the book, eh. Arch Architecture of Happiness. Hmm. Yung mga design ng bahay, nakakadagdag din pala yan sa, ano, sa, sa, ben, sa happiness ng human being, ano? Kasi mahalaga yung ano eh, yung ambiance ano, na kinagalit ni Erap sa Tagaytay. Dahil nung siningil siya, kumain sila sa restaurant sa Tagaytay. Sabi ni Erap, napakamahal naman ito. Eh sir, yung ambiance po kasi. Eh sino ba umorder ng ambiance na yan? <laughs> Tin tinanong niya pa yung mga tao niya, sino ba sa inyo umorder ng ambiance? <laughs> Ang mahal pala. <laughs> At wala lang yung ano, ano, uh, mga joke kay President Erap yun. Ano? Marami sa kanyang joke yun. Ano? ano bang favorite flowers ni ano? Favorite flower ni Erap? Hindi, yung, yung flower muna. Yung flower, di ba? Hindi nyo pala binasa. Sige, wag na nga. Color lang ba? Anyway, that's good. Na. Makita natin yung personality ng writers are within the, the writings, their own writings. You will see the writings of David in the book of Psalms, his personal relationship with, with the Lord, with Yahweh, uh, emphasize. You will see the, the characters of 
uh, David, Jeremiah, Isaiah in their own writings. And then thirdly, then the Bible is and will continue to be the Word of God for all the successive generations of man only by the virtue of its inspiration. Uh, alos dalawang libong taon ng ngayon, pinag-uusapan ng Bible. And the Bible remains to be the Word of God. And an inspiration to many generations and the generations to come. So it is quiet, ano, uh, meaningful, uh, interesting na pag-aralan ng Bible. Lalo na kung itetake natin yung mga magagandang aral dito at yung mag-develop ito ng triple relationship. Relationship with God, our relationship with other creatures, or with other fellow, and then with our relationship with other creatures. Yung pagiging makajos, pagiging makikapwa, at pagiging makakalikasan. Mahalaga yun. Kasi God created us in that relationship, in those triple relationship with God, with other fellow, and with other creatures. Kaya hindi, dapat tayo mga Christians, in, ang pagpapractice ng Bible, nagpapahalaga din sa kalikasan. Ano? Hindi tayo mga taong dapat tapon ng tapon ng basura kung saan saan. In fact, ako sa church namin, ina-announce ko, don't use this. Don't use this. Tsaka plastic. Mas pinapromote namin sa church yung paggamit ng paper cup. Ito, it destroys our ano, rivers. Tsaka yung, ano, yung soil na mahalaga na create ni God. Lahat ng create ni God sa Genesis, pag pinag-aralan ni Genesis, may buhay. Wala siyang create doon na walang buhay. Because that proof also that God is living. He gives life. Ano ba create niyang walang buhay? Too big? No, water is life. Water is living. And we live by water. Kaya nga may patay na tubig, di ba? Diba? And, uh, the, the, the water in the world is ano, 97% are salty ano? and then 3% are fresh water only 1% is potable so sinasayang pa natin ng tubig tama, tinapong ko pa kanina <laughs> ibig sabihin 97% salty water. Kaya sa Africa, yan ang problema nila, di ba? Tubig. Oh, why not? I-apply natin sa ating pagiging Christians, isama natin yung pagkalinga sa kalikasan. Yung pakikipagkapwa, mahalaga yan, na tinuturo ng Bible. Kung Bible lang din ang i-apply natin, let us develop that, that kind of relationship. If you are this, you should be related to God. You should be related to your fellow. And you should be, we should be related to our, to other nature. Kaya, actually that is my proposal sa Oxford na tinanggap eh. Hanggang ngayon hindi ko pa nasulat eh. Uh, an Asian theology of nature. I want to promote a relational theology. Na related talaga. Ang buhay ay cyclical. Uh, hindi natin pwedeng i-dominate ang tubig. Papatayin ka din yan. Kaya din pumatay ng tubig eh. Sa Pilipinas, ilan na ba nilunod niyan? Nilapastangan kasi natin masyado ang mundo, di ba? So, we need to promote that kind of relationship. Yung pagtrato mo na kapwa mo siya nilikha. Well, ngayon, hanga ako dun sa ibang nag-aalaga ng dogs. Di ba? Sa, sa Europe lalo, ang mga pusa, sa Switzerland, sa Paris, para mga prinsesa. Sa riling kwarto. Yeah. Minsan, maganda pa itulogan nila eh, kaysa sa tulogan ng amo nila. Samantalang ang mga pusa sa Pilipinas, laging victim ng hit and run. <laughs> Nagkalat sa kali, pakikita mo, patay, pag umaga, kawa, kahabag-habag, ano? Samantalang doon, sa bandang taas ng, sa bandang taas ng earth, sa Europe, eh, para silang mga prinsipe, para mga prinsesa. Dito, sinisipa, hindi pinapakain. Kaya ano eh, medyo tratuhin natin sila ng tama. Holistic dapat yung buhay. In, yung, in fact, it tells you who you are, how you treat animals, eh. how you treat plants yung lalim ng pagpapalalim ng espiritualidad natin. Tingnan mo kung pa, pa, paano mo tratuhin. Di ba sabi ng Proverbs, ang taong mabangis kahit sa kanyang, kahit sa kanyang alaga, malupit. Nabasa niyo ba yan sa Proverbs? Ang taong, ang taong mabangis, ang taong malupit kahit sa kanyang alaga, 
Kaya Paul na ngayon, ano, if improve natin yung ganong society, we should treat. Kagabi, nakita natin yung mga nahuli sa bagyo, nagluluto na naman ng aso. They are, iba yung pets, iba yung animals na food. Ano? Uh, they, we should treat our dogs. Ay, hindi ko alam kung gaano ka. Ano. May dog din naman ako sa bahay. Imagine, yung dog mo, sasalubungin ka pa kaysa nung uh, anak mo eh. Yung asawa mo, ayaw na sumas. <laughs> may, may hugo to. <laughs> diba yung dog, sumasalubong, ano? Ang saya-saya pa. Pag sumalubong, ano? Pag salubong ng asawa mo, galit. <laughs> Tanong agad, sa pagalit. <laughs> tama, samantalang yung dog, makikita mo, ano? Pag sumalubong sa'yo, ang saya-saya, naglalaribuntot. Tapos gaganong-ganonin mo sa ganito, tatanungin mo pa kung kumain na ayaw lang sumagot. Dahil pag sumagot yun, mas malaki problema. <laughs> so, at, at least, we need to, ano, as we read and as we study the Bible, these are the things that we need to develop. Uh, as we study the Bible, and one of the purposes of studying the Bible is to develop this kind of relationship again, which was broken during the fall. Ito talaga ang naapektuhan, devastated, devastated yung effect ng fall. Nasira yung relationship natin kay God, di ba? Nasira yung relationship sa fellow human being. And we kill each other. Humanity kills each other. And that is why, why, the reason why Jesus Christ died on the cross to bring back everything under the rulership of God again. And under that kind of relationship. So kung ito tayo, we should be godly, we should be makatao, o makajos, makatao, makikalikasan, makikapwa. Ma- mahalaga yun. Walang ano yan. Dapat ma- habang nag-aaral tayo ng Bible, mas nagiging makajos tayo at makikapwa at makakalikasan. Uh, diba? At i-promote natin to sa mga churches natin na as far as the Bible is concerned, we have the, the responsibility to take care of this world, to take care of this earth. Na alagaan natin yung mga tubig. Okay. Baka wala nang iinumin yung susunod sa ating generasyon. Pag sinira natin ang sinira yung ilog. <clears throat> Uh, uh, excuse me. When I was in South Korea, I went to a river. The people are drinking the water from the river. Uh, when I was in South Korea, I used to drink water from the river. Uh, yeah, big, uh, very fresh. The water is very fresh. So, nakita ko yung nag, nag, namasyal kami sa river. Sabi sa akin ng Korea, nung Koreano, sabi ko, I'm thirsty. Ay, nandong kami sa river. Sabi niya, you can drink here. Really? Sabi ko, yes. Oh, you go first. Sabi ko. <laughs> Sabi ko, can you do it first? <laughs> uminom siya, uminom siya sa river. Uminom na din ako. Uminom siya eh. Pero dapat siya muna, di ba? <laughs> dapat wise ka. <laughs> pag tawanan ka doon, pag nakainom ka na, di ba? Dapat medyo ano ka din. Alerto ka lagi kung baka nagugoyo. <laughs> baka nagugoyo ka din. Eh. <laughs> Sabi niya, you drink. Here, the water here is so fresh. We drink water from here. Really? Yes. Can you drink first? Yes. <laughs> Sabi niya, yes. <laughs> so, uminom siya. Uminom na rin ako. Ah, that's important. So, we need to, ano, we need to come up with that. Uh, stick to that principle. We need to develop our relationship with God, with other human beings, and with, ad- with other natures. To stop killing, to stop, uh, to stop uh, hurting each other. Uh, to develop a relational life in this world. So the more you study the Bible, the more you should be a uh, uh, lab- lover to, to, to your nature and to your neighbor. No, wala dapat separatista. You, you share your life with others. That's the philosophy of the Bible. How Jesus shared this life for humanity, we need to at least adapt part of it. That is part of the Bible. Okay.